Hello everyone. I think for today, I'm recording all these videos on one day and then I will space it out <laughs> over the week. But I thought let's stay with 2008 uh, for now. And the other jersey, as sure I had it, I wore it yesterday, is the Sweden jersey that I want to look at. That one, I told you already, they had uh, at a local sports store during Euro 2008, they had this um, promotion. If the team gets eliminated, you get 50% off. I always wanted to have a Sweden jersey. This is not my favorite Sweden jersey, but I needed one. And yeah, uh, I like it overall, but there are a few quirks in there. Look at all the weird umbral striping. Uh, first of all, you have here this, the color is kind of a mess. And then the weirdest thing is you have here the umbral diamonds in blue. And here the umbral diamonds as well, but you need to go close and they're in yellow. Doesn't make a sense, you don't see them. It makes kind of an asymmetric look. Also, the logo is riding way too high with the Fit the Federation crest way low. So those are a few things that I really don't like. I think the number was centered here, so it was a kind of off-center look to begin with. Uh, I like the 2006 and the 2004 versions of Sweden much better than this one. But still, I got this for half price, so you gotta get it. Uh, they played in a group with Russia that beat them in the final game, Spain that beat them and Greece which they won in the first game which was not a great game as far as I remember. Features of this shirt, there are actually too many almost to list. Uh, if you look closely we have here uh, the diamonds is kind of a ventilation pattern then here also. Then on the sides, do you see, I have to make it, if you go to the sides there is some dotted pattern that stops towards the center. It's within the same fabric, so there is some ventilation going on on the sides here. Then, of course, you have this weird shape here, which I actually I don't dislike. I gotta give it to it. This is something that I can live with. I should have maybe used it more even here on the sleeves, I think. Uh, there's some ventilation here on the sleeve. And yeah, then the most interesting feature that I haven't deciphered yet is if you look at the sleeve cuffs, there is a pattern in uh, long strokes and dots. Looks like a Morse code. Um, I still have to sit down and figure this out in Morse code. I am not fluent in Morse code, but I always want to know if this is a pattern that means something. Maybe I can get, maybe one of you subscribers can do that. Here is the whole sleeve in Morse code. I really would like to know if this is a message, if there's something to it. Maybe it's the first line of the national anthem. Maybe some Heyas Verdier or whatever. Uh, the Federation crest, of course, is a cloth material, so it's very sturdy. I like that. I also like the old style soccer ball. And back then they had the red here, which looks a little bit weird. Nowadays it's blue, so it's all blue and yellow. But uh, for a long time, Sweden had as a third color red, and I think still uh, a third national color, color of Sweden is the red. The back plain, except for the not really Swedish flag, because the Swedish flag has the yellow right here. Uh, but yeah, this should probably be a Swedish flag. I understand if it's not centered, it looks maybe a little bit weird. Uh, I know that Denmark around the time had an Adidas shirt where the color was red with a white thin line and then an off center white to make the Danish flag and it just looks odd, <laughs> like crazy. Uh, also the ventilation pattern here is, has this weird striping pattern to it. That's also quite unique. So yeah, overall there are a few unique features. Then here on the side an, another kind of, kind of um, umbro uh, branding. And then of course it says here climate control because we all have special technology. And yeah, let's look on the other side, same thing here. Some weird striping and the back of course has also this, you know, there's a blue outline on the bottom which is not on the front. As I said, a little bit of a weird shirt, still I like Sweden so I wear it more often probably than this shirt would deserve. I really would like to have a nicer Sweden shirt but even the new Adidas ones there's has nothing, they don't have the right colors. For me, the colors are right. Uh, I like the deep uh, royal blue and yellow. I know Sweden's national blue is a little bit of a lighter color that they used with Adidas, but it doesn't make for a good shirt. I think this is 
looks much, much better. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey. Any good memories with it? Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.